Welcome to this Ulrich counter. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to counter. I don't know how many people. Let's find out and I'll tell you what I'm doing. And also giving you some insights on how I play, why I play that way. Let's get right into it. So they came here with a mini, that was scrappy. Let's see in just a second. Gotta clear these signs just real quick. Can't let them shoot me otherwise I'll die. Because they have triggered me already pretty early. You can let them live if you have a good momentum, but I just had a bad one. Somebody died here already to the heavies. When I swam here, I saw somebody's on ball, so I know they have at least a mini or a scrappy. If it's a mini, of course, I think it's gonna be only two people, but we'll see. I approach right now is just to wait for the sciences to de trigger so they go back to their normal position and leave me alone. I'm also just waiting for them to do something so I can determine what to do next I guess right now is that somebody's on good crane and the ball guy is watching over him but I think we are gonna take the pipe jump up to good crane and see if we can make something happen let's check ball first Ball is currently not facing our way. We are free to go up. Now he is. Not even gonna bother fighting him right now. He's useless. Only. If I get, if I use good positioning, he can't do shit about it. And just watch how I kill his teammate. Look, there we have the mini. That gives us the confirmed information of only two players if they only came here once. See anybody crane? They are not on crane, it's usually, yeah, we can see him right there. You can always use the, you know, the thing where you can look through. Do not get shot at. Not too bad of a nade by him. He's just gonna wait a little second. He just dropped. ID count. Since he has triggered all the heavies, he can't do like any sketchy shit. This is really overpeaking by him. I just do him like this. He's dead. And now we are down to a 1v1 situation. Shouldn't be that big of a deal if he doesn't have pen helmet on. If the player on ball doesn't have the big tanky helmet, it's pretty easy to take him out. Going in his outside stairs. Not even facing our way. What we are gonna do now is just. We don't even need to move if we don't want to, we can just wait here a little bit. Make him overthink. Like just not showing already makes him nervous and then he will move around on ball. We can eventually get a good momentum and delete him from ball. He's currently facing the red room side. Which is the worst position for you to peek because on the regime side you can't really do much. It's the safest place he can get to on ball. So it's just waiting. Actually, I'm gonna reload the 24 incendiary bullets I got on me, which can be a big help if he has a wearing a pen helmet, which we don't know right now. We can also switch up the playstyle since we know it's just a ball guy. 
can start moving around. He doesn't get too nervous by us not showing. We will start to move. Maybe he goes for a greedy pick and then we will take him out. Definitely full kill it. It's gonna be yummy. No ball, no no pen helmet. Going aggressive for his teammates body so he's he's tempted to peek me. He doesn't want me to loot his shit. Plus you shouldn't be doing this if you're like only Thompson or whatever. But I have incendiary ammo. Oh I just realized he's wearing he's holding a rocket launcher, this is bad. Then we go a little more diff. He's actually holding a rocket launcher in his hand. It's interesting. I actually have a funny idea. Since we just saw the mini. And he's currently like playing very passive. We might have a really good chance to lure him out by just starting the mini and then just peeking him from the mini position. We'll see. Guys, very very passive. Don't really see that very often that the ball players passive like that. I mean, it makes sense. Buying his teammate time to come back, but not sure if he will get here onto a regular life when I'm st still moving freely over here. So our focus right now is to just play as, I guess, hidden from ball as possible. Just wait for his teammate to pull up again. We can let these scientists actually live. They will go for his teammate when he comes back. And then he's he has to deal with them as well. As long as they don't start bugging and attacking me. We'll just let him be for now. It's just a cat and mouse game between him and me. Who gets a better angle? And on Red's from side, it's just nothing I can do. Just waiting. Come on, boy. He's very scared. Yo, what you doing up there, man? Just waiting. What are you hoping to happen? What are you hoping for? Doing a little interview. We get into the ball player's head. You are going to respawn one way or the other, man. Maybe just drop me your gear and I'll let you live up there. Actually gonna try a little sneaky move on him since he was just on the outside stairs side. Scientists are kinda making kind of executing my plan. Making my plan not work, because he might know that I'm peeking over here now. Yeah he No he doesn't. And he's dead. Look. By just taking a little flank on him. We're just right below him and like 10 seconds later we are over here. With a perfect peek on him. Plus fire ammo is just as deadly as it gets. And a little bit of aim. That's how you counter the two men who didn't clear the bottom of large, I guess. It's that simple. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like for another tutorial, my friends. And we shall see each other soon.